Uh, so you, you're all healed up, but I saw uh, images of your, you, you broke your foot, right? Yeah, I broke my foot jump, jumping off the stage at Coachella. Jumping off from how far? I think, I can't really remember how high it was, but I think it was quite high up. Don't people catch you usually when I see people jump from stages in the whole thing, you're supposed to, <laughs> there you are. Yeah, I'd also taken off my top as well. Um, so I think there was a kind of like, there was a moment when I was like, because I told everyone in the crowd to kind of take something off and then I took something off and I realized like, oh, the rest of the band still have all their clothes on. I better get down there with everyone else. So I threw myself off quite forcefully and um, I felt something go, yeah, it was, a, it was a funny moment. Wow, and did you stay down or did you pretend like, oh, you know how people pretend like they're okay when they hurt well, themselves? Well, I, I don't know, I just kind of kept running because I felt, and it was like, I think I was going on adrenaline. I definitely felt like I'd done something, but you know, you couldn't just really stop. So I did like a whole lap of the crowd and everyone was screaming and throwing clothes everywhere. And I had my shirt in my hand. So I couldn't really just like stop. But I did do a, like, a rock fall. Like I felt, I think you might've saw it like that. Yeah. I just couldn't walk anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that was not like an, a, a dramatic thing. That was No, it was you, real, you yeah. Just <laughs> I have to go to Coachella. You just made it sound really interesting. I, <laughs> Never been before. Um, well, you're amazing, and thank you so much for being here. And congratulations. Uh, this is a fantastic CD. Everybody in the audience is going to go home. <laughs> I, uh, can we just talk about, just real quick, sorry, I just, I prematurely gave that away because uh, I, I wanted to talk about uh, the song that you just sang and uh, I think I know what it's about, but do you want to tell people what it's about? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I had a little bit of time off in between records and like left my own devices with time off. Like I've discovered I can be like, somewhat self-destructive, perhaps, I don't know. <laughs> um, and uh, we, had a, we had a party at my house that went on for, I mean, it's funny that there was, there was loads of water there because it was the summer and at some point there was like a, a hose introduced. So there was a lot of water everywhere, like all over the floor. So that kind of makes sense to me, that performance. But then at some point, you know, we, as you do when you're not making rational decisions, we decided we should leave the house. And um, not having performed in a while, I, there's a, tea, un, well, a good thing and a bad thing is there's a tiki bar really near my house that has like a local band playing. And I hadn't performed in a while and they were playing um, a version of uh, Get Lucky. And I was like up there like a shot. Uh, someone gave me, I think, a shot of tequila that I did and then threw over my shoulder. And then I crowd surfed off the stage onto nobody. <laughs> Um, and then I just went back to the house and the party kind of carried on and, you know, there was my water and like, and I kind of thought I'd gotten away with it. And, you know, in that space, I was like, okay, well, that was like, I went a little bit far, but, you know, I mean, the house is completely destroyed. We kind of recreated it in the Ship to Wreck video where I'm fighting a kind of demon version of myself. So if you watch it, you'll get an idea of what the house was like, because um, that's my actual house. <laughs> Uh, and I woke up, I was like, oh, cool, well, that was just a bit much, and there's, like, a lot of, a lot of things are broken, there's water everywhere, but, you know, at least, like... Nobody got, will ever see that. At least no one will ever know, yeah. And then I got a call from my manager a couple of days later that was like, hey, I know you do a lot of covers, but I really haven't seen this one. Have you done, like, a cover of Get Lucky recently? It's everywhere. <laughs> and I was like... And I'd forgotten I'd done it. Like, I'd forgotten, so I was like... I have, yeah, I have. It's not the best cover I've ever done, but I mean, yeah, it's a good song. How does it sound? <laughs> but I don't think I knew the words very well at that point, and it was basically a lot of screaming, and then, yeah, a crowd surf onto about five people. So, yeah, I mean, that's what, and then I, and then I kind of was in, you know, and then I was just thinking about, you know, I have this life, and I have this nice house, and what is it that compels me to sometimes just, want to completely sort of destroy everything. And it's fun, but then when you're sitting there in the repercussions of like your kind of, of everything, you're a bit like, ah, oh, maybe there's, I don't know, got to figure some stuff out. So I guess that kind of, that's what that song is about. It's, it's that actual specific night. I wrote it about a couple of weeks later. So there you go. That's, the, <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought.